Welcome back everyone to CWG Studios. Today I have a review of a Nerf gun that I painted and modified. Don't forget about that. And uh, this was a while ago. About two months ago I finished this. Got all the clear coating done and everything. As you can probably tell, this is a Dart Zone Magnum Super Drum with the front barrel taken off and the stock removed. Now, to remove both of those pieces, it's actually super simple. All you have to do is open up the blaster for the stock. You have to take off, actually no, for the stock, I don't believe you have to uh, take apart any of the shell. You have to unscrew the handle and then in that little hole, you can take it out, I think. Don't quote me on that. And for the barrel, uh, I think there is a joint where it comes off. And that's what you see right here. That's why there's a bit of a gap right there. That's where it hooked on. And it's very simple to take off. It makes your Magnum a whole lot smaller, but still has that 40 dart capacity. And as you can see, it's really important because the drum is massive and I cannot remove it because it is one of the old variations. That's why I chose it because of the color scheme of the drum. We have a very nice blue paint job on the handle piece and the priming bar. And it's complemented by a green that matches the original plastic green. It looks very nice in my opinion. Green stripe across the top, a lot of blue details. As you can see, there's a little bit of blue highlighting um, electricity, I think, because when I envisioned this blaster, I wanted there to have a bit of a electrifying feel and a neon feel. I think I really nailed it. I didn't have to paint any of the orange pieces because they're already a pretty bright orange. And as you can also see, there's some neon yellow highlights. There were no internal modifications to this because I simply felt that the Magnum does not need any. It already fires insanely hard. It's already hard enough to prime back in my opinion. And I don't believe there's any kits for it online. If there was, I might have gotten one. Not too sure about that. But I love this. It's it's really beautiful. One of my favorite details is this piece right here. It's a little... It's a little uh, rectangle right there. But it looks really good in person. Uh, you can't see all the detail here because of how I'm set up right now. Um... But we'll take it outside so you can get a better view of it and all the colors in daylight. All right, everyone. So right now, I have the blaster out here so you can get a better view of it in the sunlight. As you can see, paint... This is actually recorded about two months later after I recorded that first part. So as you can see, the paint has held up. We'll get into the sun here. So you can see all the colors brightly. There you go. Still very vibrant. Uh, not much has changed except for a little dust. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, right now I'm filming with my new camera. It's a Panasonic Lumix uh, ZM60K, I believe. And there's my dog.